Good morning, everyone. It is February the 21st, 2017. Scripture of the day is Psalm chapter 91, verses 1 through 16. My refuge and my fortress. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare and the of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth. Shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made of the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Okay. Verse 1, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. This can be paraphrased um, as the person who lives in the shelter of the highest place, the place of the Most High God. It describes someone who is um, so intimate with God that dwelling um, in his secret place is like dwelling in intimacy with a spouse. Um, this is um, in contrast to someone who visits or dates. This is like a marriage covenant. Um, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Um, can be paraphrased as shall lodge under the shade um, of the most powerful one in the universe, uh, its creator. To lodge under his shadow or his shade is to have uh, covering under his umbrella-like protection. Uh, Psalm 91.1 is the foundation not only for the entirety of Psalm 91, but also um, of other passages of Scripture specifically dealing with intimacy with God, as well as his protection and his provision that flow out of such intimacy with him. Um, this is how uh, Abraham had the faith he had in being willing to sacrifice his son, a promise to give back to God. Also how Moses was raised up to be counted worthy of leading Egypt filled Israel through the wilderness into the promised land, even when he kept his word to obey God and they didn't. Um, this is also how Joshua and Caleb uh, who are a different spirit, which we know this is in Numbers chapter 14, kept obedience to God and their focus on His promise to give Israel to them uh, as sworn to their ancestors. Um, also relates with David. Uh, David trusted the Lord to give him victory over Goliath, um, renewed a right spirit in him, which is Psalm 51, um, and kept the kingdom of Israel in peace and not war for 40 years. Um, so this is the same uh, intimacy uh, we see also as well, that's very important, that we see that Jesus Christ and the apostles had with um, the Heavenly Father that advanced the kingdom of God. Um, in uh, verse 2, uh, this illustrates the attitude um, that flows from the intimacy with God. Um, verses uh, 3 through 8. Um, 
pretty much we can sum that up as um, our examples of God's refuge uh, protecting the secret place dwellers. Uh, verse 9 is, um, you know, we read, um, Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, and even the Most High, thy habitation. Because we make and have been making our refuge, the Lord himself, our habitation, um, our everyday living place is our home. Uh, this is a place that we are at every day in the Lord. Uh, verse 10, uh, we uh, showing that uh, we have defensive protection over ourselves and our living places. Uh, there shall no evil befall thee, nor shall any plague come out of uh, the, thy dwelling. Um, verses um, 11 through 12, angels are given charge uh, by him to keep us in all of our ways of obedience and service to him, uh, bearing us up. Um, verse 13, Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon, shalt thou trample under feet. We will even get victory over the enemy in addition to defense. The Lord is always at our defense. Verse 14, this is the reason um, Psalm 91 exists um, as described by God himself. Um, you know, because uh, we have set our love upon him as a wife and a husband set their love uh, upon each other in commitment. That endures a lifetime. Um, therefore, he will deliver us as described throughout the psalm, the whole coverage. He will set, on, set us high, um, set us on high, which is the secret place of the Most High, a place above the, out, uh, the outcome which is determined by circumstance alone. Because we have known his name. Um, the word known here is from the same word in Genesis uh, chapter 4 verse 1. Where Adam knew Eve, his wife. And she conceived and bare Cain. Intimacy was involved in this uh, knowledge by experience. So intimacy with God is where um, his people attain experiential knowledge of his name. And that includes reputation, character, personality, will, and authority. Um, <clears throat> also, um, in verse 14, because he hath known my name is a phrase. Uh, we include this process of attaining experiential knowledge um, before that point. His people will have known his name already before he intercedes on their behalf. They will have not waited until the bad things happen or are happening, but they have already begun becoming a real threat. They will already have begun to know God's name before anything uh, bad happens, and that's described in Psalm 91. And uh, just as Noah built the ark before the floods came, the time to know him, um, you know, is now. Um, and we know that Psalm verse 16 is talking about salvation. Um, he is not only eternal, but he, uh, it is also salvation from uh, the bad things um, that we get as well. So this is a very important um, scripture and uh, really need to speak it over ourselves every day. We need to come to an intimate place with the Lord now. Um, before things start to happen, we need uh, we need that strong foundation and that intimacy relationship now. Um, we need, you know if you have not come to the Lord, you need to come to the Lord now, and you get to, you need to know your God, your Creator. Um, he is definitely our refuge and our fortress, and um, this is a very very important uh, important psalm. Um, very authoritative and powerful in structure. So, all right, guys, Psalm chapter 91, verses 1 through 16, my refuge and my fortress. Be encouraged this morning that we are under the protection of the Almighty, and He is our refuge and He is our fortress. Let's get to know the Lord intimate now before things start to happen, uh, just as Noah was prepared um, and had his ark ready 
when the flood came, we need to be prepared and we need to be preparing our ark as well. And um, be encouraged this morning. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Remember, ears open, eyes open. Listen to the Spirit. And of course, eyes to the skies. Be blessed. And I'll talk to you guys soon.